Hi Leo, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of December, I have a special tarot offer at the sales price available, um, which basically is a sneak peek into 2019 and what that uh, year cycle might bring about uh, to you. So if you'd like to know more details about uh, that special offer or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is down below, and as well my, my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Leo, I do feel like um, for some reason some of you during this period of time might be quite afraid of something or several things, but there's this fearful... Um, this, this fearful energy that is kind of conducting how you are expressing, communicating, uh, behaving, you know, maybe even making you actually say and behave and, and think in very different forms than what you are naturally used to, to do. So it's very important to look at your reasons, the reasons why you are doing certain things during this period of time to reflect a little bit before you act or say um, because your impulse is tied with fear so you might do things that then you regret that then makes you feel quite disappointed and beaten down because of fear or the fear of past failures and losses are making you disbelieve that this is the outcome that awaits you in your future so there's this interesting energy of both light and shadow here, but the opportunity is the sun. So where has been darkness, there can be the lift up here of the sun energy, making things bright, making things clear, what's real and what's not, what you have indeed reasons to be concerned about and what you don't. But it's like uh, there's this lack of openness that is um, making for some of you hard to allow the sun to become visible. The sun is there. And actually, Leo energy is an energy that is quite connected with the sun. So, um, of course, the sun is there. You are the sun. You represent the sun. So the sun is in you, but it's suppressed, hidden behind this... Uh, veil of mystery or this cover up of fears. The high priestess can be very, uh, you know, psychic and intuitive and knowledgeable. It can be the energy that knows themselves completely, and that's one of the most powerful things we can have to have this huge knowledge of who we are and why we are here and why we do the things we do and what we want and what we don't want and all of that. But when it's in the lower frequency, I feel like she's very fearful, shy. She wants to hide. And she becomes easily paranoid as well, fearful, when she's not um, properly tuned with her inner voice. Mm. So everything becomes scary. Everything becomes, you know, let's say a silent nightmare energy. So I just feel like... You should pay close attention to what you allow yourself to believe, especially if your fears are based in the past or in experiences that let you down. Differentiating the dark from the light is very important. What is what? Understanding that you hold both polarities as well, that you are dark and light, and so you can choose when you want to use your darker assets and when you want to use your lighter assets. Assets in terms of what you hold inside of you and all that I said are weapons, are tools. Is, is, is those traits of you and is what you are capable to use 
when the moment um, appeals to certain traits of yours to be used, that makes you um, emotionally intelligent, intuitive, and, and uh, just uh, able to perceive future outcomes. So if you want the situation to change from this, if you don't want this to be a part of your life, if, if you don't want something to have this type of ending, this type of result, you must be intelligent in the use of your power. You must know who you are. You must harness from the the highest sources of energy you have. There are proud, noble, naturally energetically, naturally optimistic, that wants the best for themselves and for others, that it's pure. Pure in a sense of almost um, having this naive essence of a child. Someone generous and open to hug life and hug others and hug everything with availability to do so. You know, the energy of the sun and the child here is like feeling so uh, capable and being so fearless that we don't see danger. We just invite experiences with open arms. Of course that there's other sides to this, but I feel like you need you are in me, some of you, to invite experiences, to allow them in. I think that for Leos that feel like they have not had the best times, it could be part of it is because you're not available to it. Part of you is not really available to receive good. There's something you are still holding that makes you cringe that makes you maybe distance from when uh, distance yourself from when the sun tries to approach you you are choosing cooler places colder places why again reasons i feel like questioning and inquiring as well a lot of your a lot of your reasons to do what you do or to think the way you do is important because a psychoanalysis is needed with these two cards. Others of you, this could be about depression and happiness being somehow um, restored or the fight for happiness, the fight for joy, the fight to return to you, to return to your innocence might just be that. It could be that you want a situation to have a happy result and you don't know yet what's going to happen and you are afraid. You might be torn between positive expectations and negative ones or you could just be half pessimist and half um, optimist, optimistic during this time frame and holding that duality can be hard, can make you feel somehow, uh, you know, at conflict with uh, what you truly perceive as being um, the, the possible outcome of something. It could also be that you feel tired or incapable to, again, run, run and have fun, run and just feel the freedom that your body allows. I feel like some of you are actually physical, somehow physical, um, physically incapacitated. To do all that you long to do, you are in recovery or just you're crossing a period where, again, your energy levels might not be the most um, high or heightened, but I feel like you are in the road for that recovery. Are you open, though, to recovery? Do you believe that you will get better? Do you believe in brighter, better options and days? I also feel like some of you have this belief question, like, again, in dual, you are in dual, in, in dual with your own duality. It's like, um, part of you believes and part of you have faith and part of you, you know, have this intuitive, actually, understanding of what 
things could be and will be. But then there's a part of you that doubts it, or part of you that keeps, you know, uh, creating all this negative, you know, projections and expectations of actually what the situation will be. Some of you, are, it's like caught between situations that have the both. It's like 50-50 option of going, you know, amazingly good and having the happiest outcome. Or yes, having the worst. It could be that some of you are in situations that are 50-50. It really depends on how all involved in the situation will act and behave and, you know, create the ultimate outcome. Some of you, it's about that. It's about risk. It's about not knowing yet what is what and needing to hold that, needing to withstand with that doubt. I feel like some of you are really... Um, you know, uh, facing doubts and but really hating those doubts, like not being able to go through those, um, you know, unknown outcomes easily. And this could be something that for some of you, um, you might be suffering in silence, I also have to say. Some of you are suffering in silence. Some of you are not confessing your true feelings, how you're truly feeling. And your advice being the high priestess is to also be uh, wise. Be wise in understanding your needs and understanding what your intuition is telling you. So if you feel like you need help, like you need someone to help you out, like, or if you feel like you need something that ultimately is going to help you pick up the pieces and... Um, achieve a better state of being, follow that. Follow your haunches and also follow the light. I feel like suffering in silence can be something that is eating you up. Like, it's eating you up alive and and you're, you're allowing it in a certain way because you are controlling. It's like you feel like it's better that way somehow or um, it's better to suffer in silence than to put your problems in other people, in other you know, in, in those you love, um, but it's not like that, it's not like that, that's um, a justification we tend to use not to not worry our loved ones, but in reality we just don't want to deal, we just w don't want to deal with that vulnerability, because to admit or to confess or to say to someone that we're not okay is to admit that we are vulnerable beings, right? We are not perfect. We're not strong all the time. We don't have all figured out all the time. And I think that some of you are you need to acknowledge your fears, but also acknowledge the good things, the good things out there. Acknowledge that good things can happen, can happen, aside of anything you have been through. Good things can happen. And if you want it, if you want it, one of the ways you can help that happy outcome is to become uh, or to be in the highest possible frequency of joy you can achieve, to be naturally happy. I also feel like, again, laughter is the best medicine. So if you're, because a high priestess can also be very serious, very, you know, um, defensive and not smile, not change expression, nothing. So some of you might also be very serious, too serious, like like an ener in an energy of seriousness that does not even fit you, that it's not even for you. It's like needing to loosen up, you know. The problems will still be there, yes. But if you spend some minutes, some hours of your day just laughing, just, um, you know, trying to transcend that negativity that problems bring, it will make a difference. Slowly and steadily, it will make a huge difference. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.